Hey everybody, I just wanted to share with you uh, some really disturbing news that my friend Cody Two Bears from the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe in North Dakota passed along to me earlier today. Uh, the Keystone Pipeline, which is going through the state of North Dakota, uh, just leaked 383,000 gallons of oil. 383,000 gallons of oil. And naturally the oil uh, pipeline a company, they're trying to discount the impact on the environment saying, ah, you know, it hasn't really caused any damage to people or contaminated water. And, and uh, you know, they're gonna have to try to figure out how to clean this up. Uh, really discounting the fact that as they're building these pipelines, Keystone Pipeline, Dakota Access Pipeline, what we hear time and time again is uh, these pipelines are the best ever built and that they won't leak. But time and time again, we see the threat that these oil pipelines have to our environment, our land, our soil, our water resources, and how these uh, oil pipelines, they're really putting the interests of money and profits ahead of the interests of the people who are most impacted by these leaks. I met Cody Two Bears when uh, we went to Standing Rock in North Dakota Back at the end of 20, uh, 2016, when we joined thousands of people from all across the country as water protectors, because the Dakota Access Pipeline was looking to build directly under the water uh, resource that not only served the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, but that served uh, people in four surrounding states. Uh, the stand that we were taking then was to protect water and therefore to protect life. Uh, the leaks that we are seeing, the environmental threats that are being created, further highlight the need for us as a nation to get off of fossil fuels and make those investments in clean, renewable, sustainable energy that do not pose the kinds of environmental threats that we are continuing to see people and our planet suffer from. I hope to have your support as we continue to push to make this necessary investment to protect our people, to protect our water, to protect our planet and protect our future.